and welcome to the it's a special Sunday read tonight at the Tray Station. Here we are reading Arnie the Donut. This is a Arnie sweet story Donut. cooked up by Laurie Keller. Three weeks in a row with Laurie Keller. Um, this is another book that was gifted to me. Ooh, sorry, Cody. <laughs> by Laurie Keller. And this one is so cute. It's about a donut. Do you like donuts? Loves them. What's I your favorite donut? Chocolate and vanilla and ice cream. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but we both have sprinkles. Come closer, Cody, so they can see your sprinkles. Oh, you see the sprinkles? Sprinkles. Sprinkles. <laughs> All right, so let's open up with our song. Are you ready? Yes. Hello, my friends. Hello, Hello my, my friends. friends. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the train station. station. It's an imaginary place. Come and follow up. In every single corner. This astronaut. I read you my stories well. Where? I may look like a princess or sometimes have a... Bear. I may look like a doggy, maybe a fox, a maybe a... Bunny. Maybe a... Up. Whatever the look, I'll be sure to thrive as I try to make your reading adventure come alive. My goal is to make you want to read... More. Maybe find a book that you really... Adore. So don't be shy. And come on in, cause everybody's welcome at the... What? What? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so we have a couple of jokes. Cody, are you ready? Yep. Cody, where was the first donut cooked? In Greece. In Greece? <laughs> Cody, what do donuts wear to weddings? Cheetos. No, Cheetos. They wear tux. Tux. Tuxedos. 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 Cody, Tuxedos. what does this Bob is Marley? Itchy. Okay, sorry. What does Bob Marley like on his donut? Don't take it off. What does Bob Marley like no. on his donut? No, I'm just spinning it all the way up so it won't be itchy. All right. What does Bob Marley like on his donut? Um, jamming, jamming, jamming. <laughs> All right. So it is so good to see everyone here at the train station. Yes, all yes. two of you. What? One more than last week. Okay. All right. So we have Arnie the Donut. Ooh, now there's three. Ooh. I don't see who you are. So please make sure you drop a line or say hi so I know you are there. All right. Arnie the Donut cooked up by Laurie Keller. And this is the home of the best donuts around. And it's autographed to Tracy from Laurie Keller. How exciting. Remember, Tracy, do not eat me. <laughs> She's funny. I really like her. Okay. So let's read this. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It says, Arnie turned out to be just the kind of donut he'd hoped to be. Chocolate covered with bright colored candy sprinkles. I think that's you someone else's sprinkles. favorite donut. I know you do. It's mine. <laughs> so he goes, look at all my sprinkles. There must be a million of them. He was made very early in the morning at the Wait, downtown why bakery. Mouth, why is his mouth open? Because he's smiling. Home of the best donuts around. Arnie was proud to be one of the best. He knew that side. people all over town made special trips to his bakery to buy donuts of their very own. Oh, my goodness. Actually, there are only 135, but I'm not going to spoil that for him. That's how many sprinkles are on him. As Arnie sat on the tray, which had just been placed on the donut case, he took a moment to reflect on the amazing things that had happened to him that morning. Number one, he was cut into a ring. Number two, he was deep fried. He says, ooh, I'm soaking in boiling grease, but I love it. Number three, he was cooled. And then someone's bringing him a drink. He's like, your drink, sir. Then he was iced. Who's that a handsome little donut? It's then nice. he was sprinkled. It says sprinkle area, must wear safety goggles. And then he was named. Whatever I named... I'm going to do by Cool Ice D. <laughs> and he named him Arnie. 
So let's look at the pictures for the people. Wait, can okay? I see? Hold on a minute. Let me show the people first, okay? Wait, look at my mouth. It's smiling. It's okay. All right. Sorry, I'll, I'll do one page at a time oh. from this point on. Let me just take off the cover. It's getting in the way. Okay. So. Look. That's fine. Artie looked around and saw all sorts of donuts sitting nearby. He saw plain crullers, French crullers, bonjour, madame, howdy, Frenchie. He saw powdered, oh dear, I'm so greasy. <laughs> he saw, hold on, hold on. He saw a rare square donut. He saw an eek, a long john. He goes, I prefer long Jonathan. He saw donut holes. Hello, Long John. He saw a jelly-filled donut, and the little munchkins are going, oh, no. His brains are oozing out, and the jelly says, it's not brains. Munchkins. It's just jelly. Right here. He saw a cinnamon twist that's dancing to a music, and then he saw a chocolate zebra. Ooh. Where's the chocolate zebra? Right here. Then he saw right an there. eclair. Yep, an eclair. You know, a little blue icing would be fabulous on you. Iced chocolate cream filled. He tried to strike up a conversation with an apple fritter on the next tray over, but she didn't seem to want to talk. How about that deep fryer in relation to Larry Fritter? Want to cut my sprinkles? It's a powdered. It's rather early. Maybe she's not a morning donut, Arnie supposed. Then there were bear claws and cream filled and um, glazed donuts and various muffins. All kinds of donuts. Like All glazed. kinds of donuts. I like glazed donuts. You like glazed donuts? I don't know who doesn't. Let me just take this Maybe out of here. Maybe you like the glazed right. donuts. Maybe. Or they eat us too. Or they shine or Maybe. I do. Okay, listen. It was 6 a.m. You're going to fall. Sit back. It was 6 a.m. and the baker had just hung the open sign in the window. Arnie was fascinated as he watched customers stream into the bakery. One by one, donuts were chosen, placed in paper bags, and whisked away with their new owners. Some went by the dozen in giant boxes. Goodbye, Arnie yelled to each donut. Have a great trip. This is so exciting. I wonder who'll choose me. <laughs> Can I see? Yep, hold on a second. Choose him? Yeah, he wants to see who's going to choose him. Just then, Is Arnie looked man? up and saw a man pointing right at him. Moi, pronounced moi. That's the French word for me. He learned that for me. That's the, what the French crawler said. Guy? That's Mr. Um, Bing. Ghost. Before he could say another word, he was pulled from the tray and placed in a paper bag of his very own. Thank you, Mr. Bing. Have a nice day. Arnie heard the baker say to the man, Mr. Bing, that's a fine name, Arnie decided. I can hardly wait to meet him. Goodbye, Arnie. The grand exit that Arnie's imagining. Bye. Bye, everybody. Aw. <laughs> so Arnie got bought at the donut store. What is Mr. Bing going to do with Arnie, Cordy? He's going to eat him. He's going to eat him because donuts are what? Delicious, yes. Delicious. The ride to Mr. Bing's apartment was a little bumpy. It was a little bumpy. Right a little there. bumpy. Arnie was grateful for the soft napkin the baker had so thoughtfully placed underneath him in the bag. He had never ridden in a car and wished he could look out the window to see all the sights. Hold on a second. But more than anything, he wished he could meet Mr. Bing. Why does he keep me in this bag? Arnie wondered. Finally, the car came to a stop, and they were home. This is Mr. Bing's home. That's where Mr. Bing lives, okay? That's Mr. Bing's home? Yep. That's Mr. Bing's home? Yep. It's almost done, and we have two more. Mr. Bing, a little bit more than two. Mr. Bing carefully removed Arnie from his paper bag and placed him on a clean, shiny plate. What a handsome plate, Arnie said to himself. I'm not crazy about the design. I prefer a more modern look. But it's nothing a little pain can't fix. Mr. Bing yeah, gently yeah, lifted yeah, Arnie. Yeah. Shh, wait a minute. Mr. Bing gently lifted Arnie from his new plate. Isn't that cute, thought Arnie, as he closed his eyes and smiled. 
he wants to hold me. So Arnie thinks that Mr. Bing wants to hold him. Is that what Mr. Bing wants to do? Yeah. He wants to hold him? Yeah. Look at Mr. Bing. He has some chocolate milk there and his donut. And what's he going to no, do? I like chocolate milk. I know, but what is Mr. Bing going to do right now? Eat him. He's going to eat him. Does Arnie know that? Yes. No, he doesn't think that. I didn't think that. No. I like eating Donnie the only... You, you like eating... You did. As Annie relaxed in Mr. Bing's hand, he felt himself moving higher and higher and higher off the plate. When he opened his eyes to see where he was going, he discovered he was headed straight for Mr. Bing's open mouth. Oh, no! Oh, no. Look at uh, look at Arnie's face. He's so scared. He's scared. Can I see? Can I see? Yep. I want to see his mouth in the army. Look at his teeth. Is he He's gonna scared. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? shouted Arnie. Mr. Bing was stunned. Uh, he dropped Arnie back into the plate. I was going to eat you, he replied in shock. Eat me? Arnie shrieked, his sprinkles flying everywhere. Why would you do a thing like that? Do you make a habit of eating all no, your house well, guests? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, no, of course not. So then why did it suddenly occur to you to eat me, Arnie demanded. Well, because you're a donut. <laughs> and that's what donuts are for, to eat. Do you not mean not. to tell he me... Can't eat him. Listen, do you mean to tell me that you've done this before? Yes, I eat a donut every day, Mr. Me Bing too. said. <laughs> Cordy loves donuts. Yes, I do because they're delicious. They are delicious. And you love sprinkles, right? Yes, I do. Arnie froze. He felt sick and frightened. I'd better get out of here before he tries to eat me again. And angry. Well, that explains why my friends never write or call. They've probably all been eaten. He thought to himself for a moment. Wait, are those sprinkles? Okay. Shh, yes. He thought to himself for a moment. I must put a stop to this right away. I'll call the bakery and warn the others, whoever's left, that is. Arnie knew that there was no time to waste and that he needed to be very sneaky in order to keep his plan for Mr. Bing. He turned to Mr. Bing and said in his sweetest voice, Excuse me, sir, but I don't believe we've been properly introduced. My name is Arnie. Uh, no, my hello, name is Arnie. Arnie. Mr. Bing stammered. <laughs> I'm Mr. Bing. It's nice to eat you. I mean, meet you. Still shocked to actually be talking to a donut. Mr. Bing, would you be a dear and allow me to use your telephone? Arnie asked extra politely. Oh, well, uh, okay, said Mr. Bing. And he handed Arnie the phone. As quickly as he could, Arnie dialed the number of the bakery. Wait. Can why I is Arnie, cake? listen, why is Arnie calling the bakery? I don't know. Yes, you do. Why is he calling there? Because. He wants to call and warn all of who? Wait, can I turn the His friends. Cake? No, you're too far away. Nope. The baker answered the phone. Downtown bakery, home of the best. Mr. Baker Man! Arnie frantically yelled. This is Arnie the Donut. Do you remember me? You made me at 5.15 this morning, and I was bought about 20 minutes ago by a man who goes by the name of Mr. Bing. Uh, yeah, Arnie the baker answered. What can I do for you? Now, I don't want to alarm you, but just moments ago, that man tried to eat me. And not only that, he claims to have eaten hundreds of us. I'm going to make a run for it, but I wanted to know, I wanted to warn you so that if you see him coming into the bakery, you could stop him. Oh, my, Arnie, I thought you understood. That's why I make donuts, for people to eat. I can't believe it, Arnie gasped. Are the other donuts aware of this arrangement? Well, I, I think so, the baker said. Let me ask them to make sure. And there's Donny, don't, ugh, There's Arnie showing that he's so shocked, it feels like someone punched a hole right through him. Oh, my goodness, he's shocked. Yeah, because he doesn't want anybody to eat him. He's afraid. Let's see. The baker yelled at the other donuts. Do you donuts know? Do you donuts know? Shh. Do you donuts know that you're going to be eaten? Yeah, we know. The donuts shouted back. We're delicious. <laughs> People love us. We're very popular. Try us for yourselves. 
<laughs> Did you hear that, Arnie? The baker asked. Arnie was crushed. The phone dropped from his hand. He heard all he needed to hear. Arnie forgot all about his plan to escape. He collapsed back on the plate, glanced up at Mr. Bing and muttered, All right, then. Let's get it over with. Go ahead and eat me. Aw. Oh, why is he eating him? He told him to eat him because he realized that all the other donuts realized they get eaten. Mr. Bing glazed, gazed down at Arnie. I'm not going to eat you, Arnie, he said reassuringly. It just wouldn't feel right now. Really? Arnie said with a huge sigh of relief. Well, I'm glad to see that you've come to your senses. But since I'm not going to eat you, Mr. Bing continued, I'll have to figure out something else to do with you. I paid good money for you. I don't want to be wasteful. Of course not, Arnie agreed. What we need to do is each make a list of things I can do with you instead of eating you. Between the two of us, I know we'll come up with something. Good plan, Mr. Bing. Arnie said, this will be a breeze. I bet I'm good at lots of stuff. They both feverishly wrote down their ideas. And when they were finished, Mr. Bing asked, would you like to read yours first? Sure thing, Arnie answered. So now they're making ideas of what to do instead of him being eaten. Mm -hmm. Things Mr. Bing can do with me instead of eating me. Do you need a ballroom dance partner? No, I don't dance. Could you use a personal fitness trainer? Hmm, I'd get too sweaty. How about a portrait painter? Please put that down. Oh, heavens no. Would you like me to entertain at your parties? I don't really like throwing parties. I could be a chauffeur, but you can't see over the steering wheel. I'd make a great bodyguard. Who could you protect me against a cookie? All right, Mr. Bing, let's hear what you came up with. Okie dokie, he replied. I know just what you'll like, and I know you'll like some of these. Uh-oh. Do you think he's going to come up with some good ideas for Arnie? No. Nope. I don't either. Well, I don't either. I do either. Let's see what he thinks he can do. Things I can do with Arnie instead of eating him. I could use you as a pin cushion. Ouch! Too painful! How about an air freshener for my car? Uh, how about not? Would you like to be a picture frame? I don't imagine so. I need a new bowling ball. Uh, well, don't look at me. You'd make a fine paperweight. Turn around. Boring. Then what about a doorstop? Try again. But there was nothing else on Mr. Bing's list. They were both completely out of ideas. What else can he do? There's one more. What else can he do, do you think? I don't know. There's one more page. There's two more. There's three more. Arnie and Mr. <gasps> Bing were exhausted. They felt terribly disappointed. After a few minutes of awkward silence, Mr. Bing finally spoke. Um, I'm sorry, Arnie, but it's clear that we can't agree on anything for you to do around here. This is difficult for me to say, but I think it would be best if you found another home. I know, said Arnie, fighting back tears. It'll just, I'll just be on my way then. If it's all right, can I keep this napkin to pack up all my loose sprinkles? Of course, Mr. Bing replied sadly. As soon as I get a job, I'll pay you back the money you spent to me. Well, that's not necessary, Arnie. Arnie shook Mr. Bing's hand and thanked him for his kindness. Mr. Bing opened the door, and as Arnie left, he paused and said, I guess donuts really are only good for eating, aren't they? They both waved goodbye, and Arnie was gone. Can I see Arnie was gone? Yep. Is he right there gone? Yep. He's leaving. See, he's leaving out the door. He's going bye-bye. Poor Arnie. Mr. Bing stood at the window and watched as Arnie walked away. He walked past the flower beds, the mailboxes, and the apartment's manager's office. Oh, good. Remember how happy I was at the beginning of the story? So sad. He passed the tennis court, the swimming pool, and the clubhouse. But when Arnie reached the No Dogs Allowed sign at the end of the driveway, Mr. Bing suddenly came up with a new idea. Is that a donut? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, about my trip abroad... And that's fancy people party. <laughs> no dogs allowed where Mr. Bing lives. If there are no dogs allowed, Cordy, could Coco live there? Yeah. If there are no dogs allowed? No, he couldn't. No, he couldn't. Why? Arnie, Arnie, wait up, yelled Mr. Bing as he ran after him. Arnie turned back and stopped. When Mr. Bing caught up with him, he was out of breath. I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier, Mr. Bing panted. Arnie, I've always wanted a dog. 
but I could never have one because they're not allowed. But there's no sign that says no donuts allowed. Arnie perked up when he realized Mr. Mr. Bing was thinking. Would you like to take walks and play fetch? Mr. Bing asked, asked excitedly. You bet I would. Can you do tricks like rolling over? Rolling over? Look at me. I was made for rolling over. Well, then, there's only one thing left to ask. Arnie, will you be my donut dog? Oh, Mr. Bing, I would love to be your donut dog. His donut, donut, donut dog? <laughs> no way, Jose. That's funny. Wait, I never had a donut dog. You never had a donut dog? Do you want a donut dog? No, I don't. I want Nala. Oh, that's your doggy, right? Not doggy. Right, hold on. From that moment on, Arnie and Mr. Bing were inseparable. Arnie liked being a donut dog even better than he liked being a donut. Stop. He went through a short phase of chewing on furniture and barking at the mailman. But after a crash course in obedience school, he graduated first in his class. People are going, what a darling dog. What a darling man. You're so sticky. Yes, you are. Is that a donut dog? Congratulations, Arnie. I love that Arnie got a napkin. <laughs> Everywhere the two of them went, people would stop to pet Arnie. No one had ever seen a donut dog before. Oh, no. No, no way, no way. A no donut way, dog. dog. No way, doggo. That's funny. No way, doggo. A donut dog. No Turn way. around, Cody. Arnie and Mr. Bing had so much fun together. Arnie was the best pet Mr. Bing could ever have hoped for. And Mr. Bing was Arnie's best friend. Oh, and it says, beware of, supposed to be dog, but he changed it to donut. <laughs> he changed it to donut head. Yep. Yeah. Beware of donut. And that's the end, guys. Did you like that story? Let's see who's here, Cody. You ready? Let me see who's here. Let's see. Let's see. And right? Hi. Hi, Amanda. What's up, lady? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Annette. A donut dog. I know. Isn't that so funny? So weird. Hold on. Let me see who else. Hi, Marion. Hi, Marion. Hi. Oh, Anne is here. Hi, Anne. Oh. Oh, Ellen is there. Hi, <laughs> Frenchie. Ellen, Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. Oh. Oh, Wait, goodness. Hi, Dad, guys. I have a machine with him. What, honey? Dad, I have a little machine with him. What machine, bud? Sit back Paul up here. Won. Do you want to try to remember your jokes again? For those of you, I don't know if all of you are here in the beginning, but can you sit up here, Cody? Why? Come over here, buddy. Because you're too far away. So, do you remember the first donut? How does Bob Molly like his donut? Sit up here. They can't see you. Sit up here. With jam and jam and Yep. And where was the first donut cooked? In Greece. In Greece. In Greece, he had. Yeah, that was funny. In Greece, had. All right, guys. Do you want to sing the song one more time before we go? Someone is tired. Do you want to sing the first? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the train station. It's an imaginary place. Coming home. In every single corner. That's a symbol. I'll read you my story as well. Just stop. Where? No, you have to stay. <laughs> I may look like a princess, or sometimes... No, you. Have a beard. I may look like a doggy. Maybe a fox. Maybe a bunny. Maybe an ox. Whatever the look, as I try to make you reading, my goal is to make you want to read more. Maybe find a book that you really, guys, thank you so much for coming to the train station. This was good. You guys like our donut heads? We're yes. donuts. I don't know if you could see good. We're like, we're glazed donuts with strawberry frosting with sprinkles. You want to take it off? You can take it off. Yes, because it's making me itchy. That's fine. You can take it off. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my it's a chicken. All right, I'm guys. I'm going to get on my bed so I can see them. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, so much for coming to the train station. We'll see you Thank next you. time. See you next time. Wait, everyone. Bye. Have a good Bye. week. Enjoy your Sunday night. This was a special <sighs> Sunday spectacular. <laughs> Don't be scary. I know it's Halloween, but yeesh.
Can yeah. you tell everyone what were you what were you for Halloween yesterday at a party? What's your costume? A pirate. A pirate? Arr. I love a pirate head. <laughs> Arr. Do you like donuts? Arr. You still because I'm a minion head. A minion head? <laughs> I'm not a minion head. I'm a donut head. <laughs> Guys, again, thank you so much. Please like and share, like and again. share. Let people know about it. And we will see you like on Wednesday. Share. Well, I'll see you like. on the tray station. God, this is driving me nuts. Like and share. Bye. Like and share. Wave, like and share. Like, <laughs> like and share. Like and share. Not wife and share, like and share. Like. like. And wife. Yeah, like. Like. Like and share. Life and share, girl. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. Welcome to the Grace Station. Welcome to the Grace Station.